Yo, what's up? In the car, just wanted to get out of the house to do this particular video. These are my 2017 goals. I'm so pumped and I'm so excited for 2017. I don't even have the words for it. I'm, I'm really excited about what's to come for me in, in the new year. A lot of my goals are personal, things that I, I need to work on like internally but I want to share my barber goals and uh, first and foremost my biggest goal to complete barber school at a hundred percent attendance that you have to stay above 85 percent of your attendance in order to go to the next semester I want to be at a hundred percent because it's going to plant a seed so if I can drive an hour to school be on time every day get my hours in that's going to plant a seed because who knows, the shop I work at may be 20 minutes from my house. And if I can make it an hour to school every day on time, that's going to prove to myself that, hey, there's no excuse for you to be late for, for any reason. So that's definitely uh, important to me. Uh, my next goal, barber goal, is to attend BarberCon in March. I, I really, really, really want to go. I want to be surrounded next year by people who are barbers people who have the same goals and visions as I do uh, and see you know the atmosphere see how how barbers interact get some knowledge uh just keep learning then that brings me to my next goal I'm definitely a hundred percent I'm going to attend the Orlando premiere in June I'm going I, I I'm absolutely going I, I do want to get there see some of the new products that are out because I, I don't believe in being boxed in. I don't believe that what's around me is it. I, I, I have to get out more. Like I have to see what's out there because I know there's more than just Andis Masters. I know there's more than just T Outliners out there. I want to be, you know, at with those companies asking questions. You know, you get that one on one. So I, I definitely want to attend the Orlando premiere. All right, another one of my barber goals. Um, is to make it to Knoxville, Tennessee to shadow Tyler Trotter, a.k.a. Clean Cuts. I want to shadow him. I think he's an amazing guy. Uh, he's helped me out already so much, and I want to get there uh, to, to shadow him. At some point next year, I, I want to do it. Uh, I think it would be a lot of fun, and I think I'll learn a lot. And just to sit down and, and have a conversation with him, I think I think that would be dope. Uh, already looked on Google Maps. Knoxville is seven hours away, so I really gotta put a plan in place to to get there. Um, I want to attend a Saturday Night Live session at Headlines Barbershop in Tampa. All right, I want to meet those guys at Headlines because again, just meeting people who have given me so much knowledge, like they don't even know, you know, all the hours of of watching videos. You know, I I, I really want to make it there. To, to see these guys. I really want to meet Chris Loco. Of course, you know, I want to meet Chris Bazio, but Chris Loco is is dope. Whenever I, I write him on Snapchat, he writes me right back. And I, I think that's amazing, you know, to, to see that humbleness. Like, he's a great barber. People know him, and he takes time out to, to, to respond, you know, and I think that's dope. Another one of my barber goals, I want to create a, a clipper and trimmer collection. Now, I guess collection isn't the right word because some people collect things and, you know, they sit on the shelf to show. I want to try more clippers and trimmers. Again, I know there's more out there than Andis Masters. I know there's more than T Outliners. I really want to see these different clippers and use them and not use, you know, a couple people's reviews. Some people say, oh, the Magic Clips suck. I want to be able to say, well, I've tried the Magic Clips and they work out for me because what works for one barber won't work for the other or the other barber won't like it. So I definitely want to try a bunch of different clippers and trimmers. Also, um, not really a, a barber goal, but I want to grow my YouTube channel. I have this vision for the YouTube channel and where I want it to go and what I want to do with it. Um, I, I won't share it right now, but I have this vision and I'm going to do it and I'm going to be consistent regardless if I have, uh, 10,000 subscribers, a hundred thousand 
or a hundred, you know, I'm, I'm going to be consistent with these videos. Another barber goal. I want to shadow a barber at least three weekends out of the month. School for me is Monday through Friday, uh, 8.30 to 5.30. So I want to be able to shadow a barber on, on Saturdays or maybe after school sometimes, especially if I, I get to move closer. I, I definitely want to shadow uh, three barbers. They can be different barbers, the same barber, three barbers out of the month. Last but, but definitely not least barber goal is to cut at least four heads outside of school four different heads four of the same because that way if, if it's four different heads a month then you know when I get into the shop that's you know school is 10 months so that'll be 32 clients that I bring over to the shop with me so at least four it get more than four fantastic but I know that's going to take me pushing myself marketing uh begging people to cut their hair for practice and that even if they come to school and and get services done by me that still counts in, in my eyes because that's bringing clientele so then at the end of of school i have 32 may, maybe less than 32 but 32 heads going with me into the shop so all right those are my uh barber goals so my personal development goals all right next year i definitely definitely want to read more this year i've read more books than i've read in the probably in the past five years that weren't like textbooks i want to read more i want to get in at least one book a week one book that's going to bring value um you know harry potter's cool you know fantasy fiction that stuff is cool but i really want books that are are development books that i'm going to get something out of so uh at, at least one book a week if you know of any good books uh, that I should read, comment, let me know. I'll pick the book up. Another personal uh, development goal is continue my social media cleanse. And that's what I call it, a, a cleanse. For the past few months, I've it unfollowed, uh, unfriended so many people because like just the negative stuff, I can't do. I'm really weeding out the negative stuff in my life and all positivity. You know, if, if you're not talking about progress and you're not talking about making life better if you're not you know encouraging people to to push I, I really don't want to follow you on social media but I want all positivity in my life in 2017 so if I've unfollowed you that's probably why my last personal development goal listen to more podcasts I love music I love listening to music music is great but sometimes music can mess up your mind you know it everything you listen to isn't positive so I want to listen to lots of of positive podcasts again if you know any positive podcasts let me know comment I'll, I'll listen to them I'll download them I'll listen to them especially considering the fact that I have to drive an hour to school I really need something to listen to so definitely uh let me know what you're listening to a good guy that I don't know if I discovered him or he's been around or people know about him, but Gary V. Gary V E E. The guy's so pumped and always so excited about success and always excited about entrepreneurship. So definitely I, I want to um listen to more of his podcast. I, I haven't listened to one yet. I've watched his YouTube videos, but really that guy, he he's he's amazing. All right, and last but not least, um, my goal, just a, a family goal in a whole different category. I want to get back in touch with my family. For the past few months, I've really been working on myself, trying to get me right, trying to get my mindset right, reset, and figure out, you know, what my passion is. During that time, you know, I kind of stopped talking to certain people and really just, I, I've ignored people, not on purpose, but... I just haven't been in tune with my family like I should. When you decide to do something different with your life, uh, that's not like the traditional road. Sometimes it's not your friends that don't support you or your friends or, or strangers that, that put you down. Sometimes it's your own family. Like my family is not always that positive. So if it were up to my family, I would be a computer scientist 
I be in an office working at a desk, but that's not how I see my life. I see my life totally different. I see me being in control of my life, you know, and not to say that, you know, they're doing it on purpose. I know my family loves me. My mom is all for me going to barber school. We talked about it. My little sisters, literally, first dollar I made was from my, my baby sister. I told her I was going to barber school. She was super excited and she was like, well, you can do my eyebrows now. And it's crazy because we all, we have thick, like full eyebrows. And um, I, I did her eyebrows and she loved them and she paid me like two bucks. So the first dollar I made was, was from her. And um, that's the kind of support that, that I was looking for. These are my 2017 goals. Like I said, I'm, I'm so excited. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my journey. My next video is going to be the first day of school. Uh, I'm excited for that video. Follow me on Snapchat. I'll leave the link in the description where you can follow me so you can see a, a little more of what's going on. I won't bring the camera in on the first day. I don't want to look weird. So uh, it'll be a while before you get to see the inside of the school. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a full update. Last but not least, I want to thank uh, Clean Cuts, Tyler. Thank you again for the book. All right, if you hadn't given me that book, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I, I would have found a way to get it. But man, thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate it. And I'm coming to Knoxville. I'm coming to Knoxville. All right. And hopefully when I come, I'm coming to Clean Cuts Barbershop. All right. Till next time, guys. Over and out.